She's a miracle because before she was even a month old, she told us she was a fighter. Nothing was going to stop her from surviving and thriving. And that's why we think she's a miracle. Madison was not acting normal that day. She was very cold and pale. She was crying. She wouldn't eat. She just seemed unhappy about something. And we just thought, there's something, there's something horribly wrong. We didn't think it was going to be that wrong. We took her to the hospital at Burnaby General at 4 in the afternoon. By midnight, we were here, and they were whisking her away into the ICU. And I'll never forget, they, they wouldn't let us see her. They just, you know, you, we saw her just being rolled down the stretcher down the hallway, and they said, go wait in there. And then we sat in the waiting room, and then after maybe half an hour, the cardiologist came out, and he said, look, I'm, I'm really sorry to tell you this. He said, I'll, I mean, I'll never forget it. He said, your daughter might not make it. When he said that, you, you know, you just think, this is, this is a nightmare. This can't be our girl. We were just, you know, at the mall 12 hours ago. We were at home. You know, everything was normal 12 hours ago. And now you're telling me that she is so sick that she could die. And it was, it was like the world just, just fell apart. Like everything just went black. It was horrible. And the first time we saw her lying on that little table, the bed, with the machines hooked up, it, it was, it was like, it was like getting punched. You try not to let your mind go into the darkest corners of, of the worst case scenario, but the doctors and the, and the nurses, they have to prepare you for every eventuality. And especially when in her case, it, it was a matter of life and death. It was the miracle of the donor family saying yes in such a horrible time in their lives. And that gave Addison the second chance. So, you know, there's just, <laughs> there's so many miracles that made one big miracle. <laughs> Mother's Day, my first Mother's Day, that was when Addison was wheeled into surgery for her heart. The surgery took a long, long time, and we, so we knew that something had not worked out the way it was supposed to. But when Dr. Gandhi came out and told us the new heart's not working, we were devastated. And he told us, you know, these things take time. And it was that day that we thought, we need to be as positive as we can, and we need to focus all our positive energies on just cheering her on and, and being strong for her. Every day we'd come in and there'd be something new, some, some little miracle that she was getting better, some little sign. So that made a big difference. We always heard, people always told us, oh, the Care Children's Hospital is unbelievable. And you just think, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Sure, I'm sure it is. And when we experienced it firsthand, I would say that we were in such great hands. They're so dedicated, so professional, yet so personal at the same time. You know, they, they become like a second family. We've done the telethon for so many years. We know so much about how much money is raised, but you don't really think of it in terms of that equipment is potentially going to be what saves my baby's life. The heart-lung machine that costs tens, thousands, hundreds, thousands of dollars, not just to buy, but to operate. Those kinds of things make the difference between life and death. And if it wasn't for that machine, she wouldn't be here today. Children's Hospital gave us Addison back. There's no other way to say it, but they gave us our daughter back. <laughs>